So I always had a little bit of trouble modeling really complex details on a curved surface. But lately I discovered that there is actually a modifier inside Blender which makes the whole process a lot easier. So the first thing you need to do in order to make this work is kind of plan out your details on a flat piece of geometry. So this allows you to really focus on your topology, you know, make everything quads, make everything nice and even and just keep it nice and simple. So the next thing we need is a curved surface or a mold. And the thing with this mesh is it doesn't have to be as clean as the first one, but make sure that it's dense enough and add a subdivision surface modifier if needed. So now we're going to take our mold and project our detailed mesh onto it. And the modifier that makes that all happen is called the shrink wrap modifier. And it is awesome. So let's add this modifier to our detail mesh under the form, click shrink wrap and then under target, select our mold. And now under warp method, select project. And in my case, X is Z and negative. Now give it maybe a little bit of offset so that we can actually see it. And now we have a perfectly projected curved model with all the details intact and really clean topology. And now if we apply this, we can continue to work with it and clean it up a little and get a really clean mesh. So this is what our mesh looks like after a little bit of cleanup. As you can see, uh, we have really smooth curvature here. We have good topology as far as I'm considered. And now to the creme de la creme, the final part of this tutorial, uh, we're going to extrude the details from this surface. So as you can see, I already masked the details with this material. So hit select and hit I on your keyboard and hold control at the same time. And now extrude it just a tad and then hit I again and inset that edge just to give it a little bit of sharpness. And now to top it all off, it's a final cherry, add a subdivision surface modifier and now look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> it does to me at least. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if this was helpful to you at all. And yeah, I see you in the next one. Stay creative. Perfect. Bye. You know when a mesh looks almost too good, so tasty you wanna just sink your teeth into it? I know I have a little bit of a problem. It's creeping me out myself, but I can't, just can't help it, you know.